Pangasinan, the third biggest province in the whole Philippine archipelago, derived its name from salt or asin in the vernacular. Owing to the rich and fine salt beds, which were the prime source of livelihood for the province's coastal towns. The province's crescent shape and occupies 536,818 hectares of land area, which constitutes almost one half or 41.8% of the total land area of Region 1 and 1.8% of the total area of the Philippines. Composed of 44 municipalities and 4 cities, Pagdasinan boasts of stretches of white sandy beaches, verdant hills, scenic terrains, caves, waterfalls, ancient Hispanic churches for miraculous destinations for the boaters. The Department of Agrarian Reform is the lead agency in the implementation of the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program. The four major units of Darpangasinan, namely the Land Tenure Services, Legal Services, Technical Advisory and Support Services, and the Support to Operations. Land Tenure Services The province has a total land scope of 68,588.3408 after inventory of card scope, 65,243. 0.8 to 25 hectares of agricultural land were distributed from 1972 to 2015 to 78,058 agrarian from beneficiaries. The total number of ARBs include EP, CLOA, and lease holders. Most of the land distributed was acquired through Operation Land Transfer under PD27. Other LT activities of Dark Pangasinan include land holdings classified as distributed but not yet documented and distributed but not yet paid, accounting for 8,303 hectares. Of this area, 2,326 hectares are not documented and adjusted for land owners' compensation. Documentation of DNYP FSD land holdings started only in 2015. The bulk of the work for land acquisition and distribution had already been accomplished by the Darpa Pangasinan, of which only problematic land holdings remain to be distributed and some problematic land holdings to be deducted from the target. Agrarian Legal Services Another major component of CARF is Agrarian Legal Service, or ALS. It has the primary jurisdiction to determine and adjudicate agrarian reform cases and provide free legal assistance to ARBs. Agrarian legal assistance is composed of resolution of agrarian law implementation cases, ARB representation before judicial and quasi-judicial bodies, and mediation and conciliation. On the other hand, adjudication of cases involves the resolution of agrarian dispute cases by the DAR Adjudication Board and any of its salas. In 2013, the legal sector launched other allied legal services to facilitate judicial disposition of cases. This include conduct of ocular inspection, review of notice of coverage, titles, contracts, and other legal documents. The Agrarian Legal Services has rendered 1,953 of these allied legal services from 2013 to 2015. Similarly, for adjudication, the Dara has resolved 1,187 regular cases and 20 land valuation cases. In 2010 to 2015, however, the trend during the last two years shown an increase in workload due to the increase in the number of cases handled by the agrarian legal services and dollar. The enactment of CARPER and the rationalization plan 
had shifted the focus of their pangasinan from land tenure improvement to program beneficiaries development. The PBD is a support service delivery component of CARP. It aims to aid the agrarian reform beneficiaries by providing them necessary support services to make the lands more productive and enable them to venture in income generating livelihood projects. Presently, it has 12 personnel extending technical assistance to 43,389 LUD and non-LUD ARBs, 58 agrarian reform communities, 96 functional farmers organizations where 40% of the members or a total of 17,395 RARPs. The limited resources of the office did not hinder the provision of the necessary services to its clientele because of the partnership arrangements it had entered into with other resource holders. Among these are partnership with Catholic Relief Services, known as linking small farmers to market or the Lynx Farm, Partnership with Land Bank of the Philippines for credit assistance known as Agrarian Production Credit Program and Credit Assistance Program for Program Beneficiaries Development. Partnership with NATCO and CORD for developing Arbus as microfinance providers. Partnership with DTI for the Village Labor Processing Center and upvaluing of ARC products. Partnership with the Social Enterprises Development for Social Entrepreneurship. Partnership with Professional Service Providers to support the business of farmers' organizations in ARCSIS areas. Partnership with the Philippine Center for Water System in the implementation of community-based potable water, sanitation, and hygiene. Partnership with local government units in the implementation of farm-to-market roads under the bottom-up budgeting, now known as the Grassroots Participatory Budgeting Program. Partnership with the Cooperative Development Authority for Cooperative Strengthening.